What are international financial centers and why do they matter? International financial centers, or IFCs in short, are like one-stop centers for financial services for foreign persons or non-resident persons. You could think of them like shopping malls, which have many different shops with all the goods a customer could want, all under one roof. To attract specific customers, it would structure itself to enhance convenience to them. Maybe, for example, it would be located in a prime area like an intersection, it would have a lot of parking, and offer plenty of discounts and sales to be more competitive than other independent small shops. In much the same way, IFCs can be considered convenient one-stop shops for financial services. Their target customers are foreign investors or non-resident persons. The kind of goods they provide are financial services including international banking, asset management, amongst others. The financial activities within an IFC involve pulling capital from investors, collectivizing it, and directing it towards investment. The convenience IFCs provide include relaxed regulations, tax incentives, which means little or no taxes within the IFC, bank secrecy, and anonymity for investors who value confidentiality. So why is it important to know about IFCs and why do they matter to you and me? IFCs can be instrumental in attracting finance for development. They do this by mobilizing private investment as private investors are attracted to the incentives and other investment conditions within an IFC. This is especially important for countries which lack finance and have difficulty attracting finance. IFCs can also increase the market for borrowing. IFCs, however, can also foster financial secrecy through the tax incentives they provide and their generally relaxed regulations. Also, Companies may use IFCs just to reduce their tax liabilities so that IFCs function as tax havens where investors only route their capital through an IFC to take advantage of the tax incentives with no intention of these IFC jurisdictions becoming the final destinations of the investment themselves. This means no real economic activity can be said to happen within the IFC. When governments allow for IFCs to function as tax havens within their countries, they ultimately lose out on potential revenue and have to make up for the deficit by increasing taxes elsewhere. This matters to you and me because it often means that taxes that are easy to impose, such as consumption taxes, are increased to make up for the deficit caused by harmful tax incentives, which are found in IFCs. Learn more about IFCs by visiting our website, www.taxjusticeafrica.net.